Hello, wake up, rise and shine. This is Nabish and I welcome you to the life changing show. This show is generally going to change your life and with me is Mind Power Wasim, psychologist, therapist and a life coach who specializes in 10 various uh, gray subjects, be it depression, anxiety, stress, negative past memories, of course, memory and concentration issues, uh, insomnia, anger issues, um, of course, uh, business coaching, uh, you know, career decisions, decision making, etc, etc. Wasim specializes in a customized program called CR3 designed for the student community. He has also come up with an evolutionary program called New Mind, New Me, wherein one can achieve uh, success, greater happiness and greater oneself with one another. And apart from that, Wasim conducts workshops in various government, non-governmental and of course a semi-governmental organization and he has been motivating millions of people out there. And thank you so very much for all those awesome responses that you have put in. Welcome to the show and yes, so let us wake up because this particular show is definitely going to change your life because there are certain questions you really need to ask yourself and after you ask those questions, you have your answers within you actually, trust me. So all you need to do is wake up, stir yourself and just wake up, right? Yes. So wake up, wake up and wake up. Yeah. So how are you doing, Wasim? I'm doing good. I'm doing great. Ah, you know, uh, change in life, you know, only change in life, you know, which is good. We definitely need to change our life and, you know, we need to elevate to another ladder of uh, success or happiness or contentment or what to what we call life but uh, there are certain questions we really need to ask them that can actually change their life yeah see uh, even though we come across so many techniques we read books we watch videos on YouTube we we search on Google and we seek the expert help but beneath all that the basic search is to look for that one big technique that one giant technique the emperor of all the techniques mm. that can bring about sustainable and permanent change okay a change that lasts forever mm. a lasting change technique we all look for that because see even though we have so many techniques we at times get confused which is the right technique to try which is the correct technique absolutely is it the technique that is being referred as the best technique is it really for me will it really work on me mm -hmm. even though it does will it work every time and all the time and uh, i've heard that person say that that is the good technique i've heard this person say that this is the uh, um, life-changing technique but if both of them are saying and claiming mm -hmm. that their techniques are the best techniques, then which one is the one, the ultimate? So what I would like you guys to do along with us, mm -hmm. let's clear the clutter. Let's clear the dirt. Let's clear all that rubbish that is inside of us and just clean. Let's, let's, Let's clean it up. I would like you to right now imagine as if your mind is starting to clean up from all those techniques because I am going to write the ultimate technique in your subconscious mind right now, right at this moment. And that's why. And for that, I would like you to wake up. Mm -hmm. Allow your subconscious mind to wake up right now as you watch. Let me say it again. Allow your subconscious mind to wake up right now as you watch. Repeat with me. I'm waking up now. I'm waking up now. I'm waking up now. What is it that they need to say? I am waking up now. I'm actually waking up now. Yeah. I'm so, awake. <laughs> okay, fine. It's fantastic. So, assuming that you are awake right now, I'll start writing in your subconscious mind, my okay. friend. Okay. If you have a notepad and a pen, you will now write down something on that notepad that could transform your life for the rest of your life maybe next life also who knows okay what is that <laughs> i will also write it down so so if you don't have a notepad and a pen get it just get it uh -huh. write it down if you have the cell phone with you write it down on your cell phone okay. but write it down okay so the so i'll give you 
three questions. How many questions? Three. I'll give you just three questions. Just three questions. How many questions? Just three questions. Just three questions. I'll give you just three questions. And these three, sounds easy, right? Right. Three, three questions only. These three questions can change your life. Wait a minute. You know, when you said just three questions can change your life, yeah. the, the, the very feeling made, made me feel very light and made me feel very happy and great from inside. And I feel that, oh my God, my life is already on the travel mode to change and I'm so absolutely, happy about absolutely. it. Absolutely. I'm sure they are. You are, I'm sure, right? You are happy primarily because you are about to have a change. Exactly. You are going to have a breakthrough. But on top of that, on top of that, this realization, oof, this is easy. Only three, only three questions. Only three questions can change my life. True. So three is the way to go. Three questions. The first question, uh -huh. are you ready for this? Yes, I'm typing. Wake up. Yeah. Wake up. The first question is, who is responsible for my life and my situations? Who is Repeat responsible? Who is responsible for, for my, my life, life and, and my situations? Okay. And I would like you to answer that question. Okay. What is the first question, Nabish? Once again. Who is responsible for my life and my my situations? situations. Yeah. Did you write it down? Yeah. Great. Bingo. I think you got the answer. Who is responsible for my life and my situations? I would. My answer is me myself. Absolutely. It has to be you. Stop blaming God for God's sake. Yeah. Stop blaming God for God's sake. Stop blaming God. Stop blaming the politicians. Stop blaming the weather. Stop blaming the nature. Stop blaming the economy. Stop blaming each other. Exactly. Stop playing the blame game right now. Okay. And take the onus, take the responsibility on yourself. Mm -hmm. Who's responsible for your life and your situations? It is you, my friend. It is you. It is me. It is you who is responsible for your life and your situations and nobody else. You are the very writer, the director, the actor of your life. Uh -huh. You are the writer, director and the actor of your life. And you have to be the audience as well to know whether you have acted well, directed well and scripted well. So now I remember the clutter and the mess that I have created. I am responsible for that absolutely, and I really need to absolutely. admit that. Yeah. And the moment you take the responsibility, you know, we don't take the responsibility. We try to shy away. We just try to shy away. Take the responsibility. Okay. And taking responsibility is fun. Yeah, it is indeed. It is a wrong idea that people have. If I take responsibility, will it burden me? Will I become weak? Will I get tough? No. Look at those people who have got big muscles. They have got big muscles because they have pulled in, they have taken up bigger weights. So the more you take in, the stronger you become. Take the responsibility for your life. Stop blaming other people. Stop blaming God for God's sake. Mm -hmm. Stop blaming. Why me God? Why me? Why, me? Why is it always me? Yep. It is Yes, it is you because you have done that. It is you because it is your life. It is you because you can change it. Why do you say, why me? Why don't you say, why not me? So that I can learn, I can become strong and I can lead. It is the leader who goes through the toughest, the hardest. That's why he or she is the leader. So allow yourself to take the responsibility for your life. And your it's, a, it's a general tendency among people, exactly. even we said, why me, why me, why no. again me? Why not me? Why not me? Why not me go through this? So that I can learn, I can become strong. The moment you say, why me? You say, I should not have been. Why don't you say, why not me? So that I become strong and I can show people the way. That's how you become a leader, my friend. That's how you become a leader. You do not become a leader because you have had high flying ways to go up in life. Only because you have fallen down and then you have pulled yourself back up, that makes you bloody strong. Once you can pull yourself up back up from the scratch once again, that means you can lose everything yet you can build it back up. 
That's how champions think. That's Winners right. only win a match. Champions, they win tournaments. Appreciate. Appreciate. So take responsibility for your life. Stop blaming other people. Unless you take responsibility for your life, you are going nowhere. You will be in the same shit wherever you were. You will be there. So stop putting blame on other people. Take responsibility on yourself. You know what will happen immediately? You will put your focus back to yourself. And then you will start working on yourself. And you will start changing from then on. Mm -hmm. The moment you say, God has done this to me. They have done this to me. They are responsible. Politicians, whether every other thing is responsible for my life then you are not going to take the onus on yourself. You will not take action. You will not decide. You will be wherever you are. Wake up. Wake up right now and take responsibility for your life. Okay. So keep asking this question to yourself. Write it down. Paste it on the wall. Paste it everywhere. But paste it in your subconscious mind. Who is responsible for my life? You are responsible for your life. And the no, no, I, I, I did not do that blast. I did not do that accident. Yes, I agree. There are moments where you were not responsible for that. True. But what did you do with that? Of course, you were a part of it. You did not do it. You were a part of it. But then what did you do? Every experience will either make you better or better. Every experience will either make you better or better. So once you take the responsibility, you will not become better. You become better. Okay. So take the responsibility for your okay. life. Okay, that's uh, question, question number one, one with the answer. What will be the next question that can change the life? The second question is, who has the power to change your life? Yes, you want the change. Uh -huh. But then we say that I don't have the power to change my life. Uh -huh. I'm so powerless. Who has the power to change your life? The self. Yeah, repeat after me. Nabish, who has the power to change, change my your... life and my situations who has the power to change my life and the situation the answer is me myself yes if it is your life then you have the power to change your life and your situation see a lot of people would say okay fine i did not realize all this while that i'm responsible for my life fine i'm responsible for my life and my situation if my tummy is this big i'm responsible your girlfriend or your wife is not responsible for that your country is not responsible because you have a big tummy it is you who is responsible for that. You did not work out. That's why you have a big tummy. You, you, you are flat on your health. You are, you are not active and awake. So you are responsible for it. Okay, fine, you realized it. But then the next moment you go, I don't have the power to change my life. Then who has the power? Oh God, you have all the power. You, you have not given me any power. I'm sorry. Fine, you can think it that way. But if you think that way, you will be in the same place wherever you are now. Well, this reminds me of this uh, popular saying and the adage that says that God helped those who help themselves. Absolutely. Bang on. You have the power to change your life. Stop saying that you don't have the power to change your life. Realize that you have the power to change your life. Uh -huh. Realize Absolutely. that you have the power to change your life. Uh -huh. the, Tell me one thing, Namish. The moment you realize that you have the power to change your life, what will happen to you? Things will change. My life goes. My life will change and things will better up. Your focus would shift. Yeah. I'll be the more moment, refined. Yes. The moment you realize that I have the power to change my life, immediately your brain, your neurology, your psychology, your biology would start to change. There's something called the sympathetic nervous system that runs on your thinking. If you think negative thoughts, uh -huh. the very next day you will have a bad body, a bad biology. If you're having a bad day today, not because you have had something significantly bad happening to you, look back at yesterday's thoughts, okay. last night's thoughts, last day's thoughts. You will come to know you have been thinking those things to yourself. So realize that you have the power to change your life. Nobody has the power to change your life. I might have the power, I might have the techniques for you, but if you don't realize that you are responsible, and if you don't gather around the power that I have the power, he will not seek the help. He will not decide, he will not take the action. 
So wake up right now. I would say wake up right now and realize that you have the power to change your life. Great. Then. It is a mindset change. Mm -hmm. It is a mindset change, Navish. Ex actually, actually, yes. Actually. Because you see, I, a person, let's say both of us lose out on something. And I say, no, no, I'm not responsible for it. And But you take responsibility. What will you do? You will start refining yourself. You will start working on yourself. Next time we meet, you will become a better person. But I would become a better person because I did not work on it, because I did not take the responsibility. Then you had asked yourself a question, who has the power to change my life? Let me stop blaming other people and let me take the power back. So you worked on yourself, you became more powerful. But because I was blaming other people and I said I don't have the power, I did not want to work on myself. Okay. So your mental focus runs on your ideologies and ideas about yourself. When you have this idea that I am a victim, I'm helpless, you are not helpless for God's sake, you're not helpless. You are seeking less help. Wow. Yeah. You are being less helped. You are not helpless. You are less helped. By who? By yourself. By the self. Yeah, I am helpless. No, you are not helpless. You are helpless. By who? By yourself. Because you think you are powerless. Oh. But you have the power. So keep asking this question. Write it down everywhere. Stick it on the walls. And mostly stick it on your subconscious mind. Ask this question to yourself. Who has the power to change my life? And who is responsible for all the, you know, yes. for your life and, and your, your situation. situation. So, so uh, the two pertinent questions that we discussed was who is responsible for your life and for all the situations that has happened in your life. It's me, it's you, thyself and who has the power to change, control and, you know, uh, rebuild the situations of whatsoever. Who has the power to change your life? It's you. It's you or it's me, it's thyself. The third question, before we move on to the third questions, we had uh, already had the answer. You know, the interesting part of this conversation and in this particular episode is that we have a question, we also have an answer. We so, always keep asking the questions or we always jot down the questions. We have the answer, but we do not seek the answer. Ah, it's so simple, but we make it so complicated. Yes. Maybe we do not wake up. We yeah. haven't uh, uh, awakened ourselves, yes. our consciousness, yes. the pineal gland or the yes. ground. Yes, because we are not awakened, even though we are uttering things, we do not hear them clearly. Yeah. Uh, through my yearly programs, for example, the new mind and new me, when people come to me, I first start to notice uh -huh. and understand their level of engagement the uh, uh, their ability and their sense of being present how much is it are they paying attention or not okay. i put them through tests to understand mm -hmm. whether they're fully awake or not uh -huh. if they're not fully awake then my time would be a total waste with them money time energy would be a total waste unless they're awakened because if they're not awakened then no matter what I say it will not go into them well uh, awakening is a commitment and you really need to commit to awakening. Yes, it is a commitment but look for that commitment to be realized they have to realize the commitment who will realize the commitment they you mm. me yeah. So if I have to realize the commitment, who is realizing the commitment? My body is me. My biology is me. So my body has to realize the commitment. My neurology is me. So my brain has to realize the commitment. My mind is me. So my mind has to realize the commitment. So all the three components that make me, all the three components that make me, that is my physiology or biology, uh -huh. by my neurology or my brain, uh -huh. and my mind or my psychology. So my neurology, my biology, and my psychology, all the three com components 
have to realize the commitment and only then and only then I will really hear what is being told to me I will hear what I am saying I will be fully present I will be awake and I will pay attention mm -hmm. and if you can pay attention and if you are paying attention you will hear things clearly if you hear things clearly you will remember them you know the biggest problem with us is is not remembering because we are not attentive enough yes we are not remembering see let's say I decide to be uh, more healthy from tomorrow and tomorrow arises and then I do not remember my commitment even though I remember I do not remember it with the same commitment when, while I was making the commitment say so yesterday I was making the commitment with full force I was I was um, telling my friends and I was telling myself I was looking into the mirror and I said from tomorrow I'll do all the health practices uh, related with the, the better health and I'll be really healthy I'll do exercise I'll eat healthy I had all the energy while I was saying it yesterday but today I'm not equally as stimulated as yesterday so I don't remember it like the way I said it yesterday okay. since I don't remember mm -hmm. it I fail on the commitment if I'm as awake as yesterday if I'm as awake as yesterday now and if I'm more awake than yesterday I'll remember it I'll remember it so they have to be awakened so if they can remember like the way when they were remembering they will remember to do it they will follow through on their commitment so their biology neurology and psychology all the three components have to come together all the three components have to remember it okay okay so they have to be awakened all all three levels so in my new mind new me program what I do I first work with people's biology okay. their physiology okay then I work with the neurology then I work with the psychology but I do them simultaneously okay so if, even though they're there in my chamber or in my office if though they're pretending to listen to me mm -hmm. but they're kind of not, not there, actually listening then there is no point telling them anything so first thing is to wake them up so remember the, the proper moment awakening. I said about the shocking moment mm -hmm. I said something related to the shock so they have to kind of put their biology neurology and psychology into a kind of a shock where they wake up so wake up my friends do wake up and for the proper awakening do visit mind power Vasi, who specializes in 10 different areas depression anxiety stress negative past emotions of course uh, the other syndromes that you face if you have difficulty in uh, concentration memory issues of course Wasim is there to help you out insomnia anger issues um, you know decision making related to your career motivational etc etc as he mentioned rightly about that evolutionary program new mind new me, new me. and also not to mention the CR3 program which correct. has been really really successful correct. every annual annually you put up with this correct, uh, correct. particular revolutionary program and it's very very successful and also your list of clientele is also very interesting you have athletes and to, who come to you to improve their performance right. and their ability on ground we cannot mention them for sure and uh, yeah awakening is very very important and to awaken you really need to realize that you really need to awaken yourself after yes life. and the third question yeah. the third question is if I never ever decide to change my life can anybody else change my life if I never ever decide to change my life can anybody else change my life no my friend all. I am very sure you are writing it right now. Just like Navish, you are writing it right now. Just write it down. If I never mm -hmm. ever decide to change my life, uh -huh. repeat after me, Navish. If I never ever decide to change my life, who is going to change my life then? Can anybody else change my life? So you may take the responsibility for the change. Uh -huh. You may take the responsibility for the life, uh -huh. for the current life of yours. You may realize that you have the power, 
but if you don't decide there are a lot of people who are smart enough intelligent enough navish mm. to realize that uh, they are responsible for their life they are smart enough also to realize that they have the power i have the power to change my life but they don't decide they just would not decide they are waiting for the miracle to happen they know they are so smart you talk to them they will say yeah i am responsible for my life i have the power to change my life then why have you not changed your life i'll decide it from tomorrow i'll do it from tomorrow and that tomorrow never comes that tomorrow will never come that tomorrow will never come that tomorrow is not going to come you have to go to that tomorrow you have to go to that tomorrow that tomorrow will not come you have to go to that tomorrow think about it just think about that thought that tomorrow will not come to you you have to go to the tomorrow so you have to take a step you have to take steps to go to that tomorrow you have to go to the tomorrow so they have tomorrow to, will not come they have to kind of clairvoyantly or you know mentally think and visualize that you really need you are going there tomorrow yes to change things. yes so you are responsible you have the power but you have to decide decide you have the number dial the number pull the trigger take the step just do it take the action that's where the magic is take the action unless you take the action nothing is going to happen with this we culminate this episode then wasim and of course with more amazing topics we can discuss in the upcoming episodes so we conclude the current episode right here thanks for being with us Gitam University Visakhapatnam da BSc Nursing amadi MSc Nursing in NPCC gi damak female candidate singna admission to bibi yaragani campus manung da masagi hospital laizaraba medical college ni room amada mahiroi ani khaktamak leiba lift facility yauraba amadi yam hygienic oiraba hostel yauraba campus ni MSc Nursing da admission fanglaba mahiroi singda tha khuding gi stipend oina lopal sing tara fangani tuition fee structure BSc rupees 30000 per year Food and accommodation rupees forty five thousand per year. First to fourth year same fees. MSc Nursing in NPCC fees rupees one point five lakh per year. Food and accommodation rupees forty five thousand per year. Eligibility BSc Class Twelve Pass Physics Chemistry Biology and English sixty percent in aggregate. Manipur ki mahiroi singi oina entrance test yau dana direct admission tobi bhi yagne. Subna taki se tarah manga khatte nahi. Aku pamarol ki dama contact tobi rau. Educare Zone near Bosem Babupara phone number 6009062261 Natraga 8794026262